Rin Price Modeling, the Attractor Spreadsheet, is a spreadsheet that calculates the theoretical value of a D4 Rin. I'm George Hookstra, and we're going to show a diagram that lies behind the calculation of a theoretical Rin Price. So here we see a diagram of the flow in today's diesel fuel market. Biodiesel is blended with petroleum diesel into the and sold into the diesel fuel market, similarly with renewable diesel. When the fuels are blended, a RIN is separated and sold into the RIN market and eventually retired to fulfill an RVO, which means renewable volume obligation, paid by the petrofuel producer. Now, with this diagram, you can write down equations about the flow of the three things that are flowing through this system, which are fuels, RINs, and dollars. And those equations state that the amount flowing in has got to equal the amount flowing out. And you can also write down equations that define the conditions for equilibrium in a competitive market. Those equations relate prices to quantities. And you can also write down an equation that defines the renewable volume obligation requirement, which is that the volume of renewable fuel supplied to the market has to equal a minimum quantity. And if you do that all correctly, you end up with 14 equations and 14 unknowns, which can be solved for all the flow rates and prices of the fuels, RINs, and dollars flowing through the system. And that's what is done in a tractor. So for example, here we show a case where we've said the cost to supply biodiesel and renewable diesel are both $3.47. <clears throat> the petrodiesel incremental supplier, marginal supplier's cost is $1.93. And the market price of diesel fuel paid at the wholesale level by truckers is $2.04 per gallon. Now, if you look at this, it appears the petrodiesel supplier <clears throat> is making a profit of 204 minus 193 or 11 cents, but the petrodiesel supplier is required to pay the RVO, which is 12 cents. And so with that, to the nearest penny, the petrodiesel supplier breaks even. What about the renewable diesel supplier? Well, they get 204 for the product they sell. We've put in here a fixed credit value of 76 cents. And by fixed credit, I'm talking about the blender's tax credit and or the clean fuel production tax credit over the life of this RIN, we're saying is going to be 76 cents. And you can put in whatever value you want for that. So the renewable diesel supplier gets the 204 for the product sold, the 76 cents fixed credit which adds to $2.80. And he gets the RIN value of 67 cents, which adds to 347, which is his cost. So all three suppliers here are marginal suppliers that are breaking even. And you see that under the 67 cent RIN value in dollars per gallon is 45 cents, which is the RIN price at this time in this situation at um, in dollars per RIN. And if you're gonna add RIN values to the values of streams in dollars per gallon, you have to convert that RIN price into a dollars per gallon value. Now, what good is this thing? Well, this is a formal description of the system. And you can start changing any of the any of the variables in this thing and see what's going to happen. And I'm telling you, you can't do that in your head. If you start changing the variables like the mandate levels, the costs, the feedstock costs, you can't 
figure out what's going to happen to the RIN price unless you have a description of the system like this. So for example, we're going to increase the price to the cost to supply biodiesel and renewable diesel by increasing the price of the feedstocks used to produce biodiesel and renewable diesel. So the, here we've increased the cost to supply biodiesel to $5.13. And these little green boxes tell you how much has changed from the previous base case. So in this case, it's changed, it's gone up by $1.65. Same for renewable diesel. And you'll see the main result of that is that the RIN price goes up almost dollar for dollar to $1.61 per gallon. The one, nothing has changed for the biodiesel producer, still producing at the same cost. The market price goes up a little bit, and that's because the cost to supply the biodiesel and the renewable diesel has gone up. Let's check again the profit margins. The petrodiesel supplier is getting 209 for the product. That costs $1.93 to produce. That looks like a 16 cent profit, but that goes for the RBO. So again, this petrol diesel supplier, this marginal petrol diesel supplier is breaking even. What about the renewable diesel supplier? Well, he's getting $2.09 for the fuel. We're assuming here the fixed credit of 76 cents, which refers to the Blunders tax credit or renewable diesel uh, or clean fuels production credit. So the 209 plus 76 is 285 plus the RIN value of 228 equals the cost of 513. So the renewable diesel supplier is breaking even and same for the biodiesel supplier. Now the case we're showing here is representative of what was going on in the first half of 2023 before the RIN price crashed. The RIN price here is $1.52 per RIN. That's about what the RIN price was when we wrote the three-part blog series, Baby the RIN Must Fall. The RIN price at the time was $1.52. And the cost of feedstocks supplying biodiesel and renewable diesel were going down rapidly at that time. With this spreadsheet, our clients knew that that implied an almost dollar for dollar drop in the value of the RIN. Now, most of the market did not know that. People were asked at the time, what's gonna to happen to the value of the RIN? And they were saying it's gonna be business as usual. They were saying, it's going to stay at the same value when it was hard coded into the design of the RIN system that the RIN price had to fall. And so if you recall, the previous slide showed a 45 cent RIN price. That's about what it fell to in a matter of six months or so, according to the design of the system. But the market was blindsided by that. Almost everybody in the market was blindsided by that which is why I say the market is confused. And a simple spreadsheet like this gives you what you need to be able to understand why things like that happen and anticipate them in advance instead of trying to figure them out after they have knocked your stock price down to a third of its value, which happened to some suppliers. Now, just for completeness, We'll show here that this thing also is always producing the mass flow rates, the flow rates of all these things. So for example, in billion gallon per year, in this case, it's 2.1 um, billion gallons per year of biodiesel, uh, 48 billion gallons of petrodiesel, adding up to 52.57 billion gallons per year of total diesel supply. And again, in this case, we're assuming things are equal for renewable diesel and biodiesel, but you don't have to assume that. We're just doing that for simplicity and explaining. You can change the costs. You can change what, what you want to experiment with and see how it's gonna affect not only the RIN price, 
but all the other flow rates and prices of everything flowing through the system. The attractor bio-based diesel market model calculates fuel and RIN flow rates and prices from fuel mass balances, RIN mass balances, fuel supply curves, fuel demand curves, the RVO nested mandate equations. It gives 14 equations and 14 unknowns, which are solved um, in this spreadsheet. And I can tell you again, I didn't invent these equations. They come out of work done in the academic world that's been published. And I just applied them as needed to describe the way things are working today. I recommend you join our client group and you can do that and get the attractor spreadsheet by buying Hookstra Research Report 10. There's a link here to the offer letter. You can please contact me anytime, george.hookstra at hookstratrading.com. And my phone number is 630-330-8159. Thanks a lot for your attention.